Found in the Philadelphia Art Museum is a multiplayer scavenger hunt game for art lovers. The goal of the game is simple. Explore the museum and find as many artifacts as you can, which are hidden deep within the objects on display. Players select from two teams, runners and ghosts. Runners score points by capturing artifacts found in the museum. Ghosts protect the artifacts by creating challenges for the runners. To capture an artifact, runners explore the museum gallery by gallery. When they have entered a gallery containing a desired artifact, the game will notify the player using the location data from the eye beacons. The runner must then locate and capture the artifact by taking a photo of the gallery object containing the artifact. Similarly to runners, ghosts are notified any time they enter a room containing an artifact of interest. If a runner enters the same room as the ghost, the ghost will be notified and given the opportunity to challenge the runner, forcing them to find the artifact in just 30 seconds. This is how a ghost protects the artifact. Hitting the challenge button sends an alert to the runner letting them know that the ghost has challenged them and starts the clock for both players. If the runner does not find the artifact in 30 seconds, or captures an incorrect object, the ghost automatically wins the challenge and the runner will be forced to return to the artifact later. We decided to use artificial intelligence to detect the items in, in to, to, to detect the items in both images. We ran all of the images given to us by PMA um, through, the, through this artificial intelligence and it returned a list of all the items in each one of the images that we, that we, that we ran it through and then we saved that information. And then when, when a user takes a picture of an art object, we go to that artificial intelligence, provide, provide it with the image that the user just took, ask it what items are in that image and then we compare the items that are in that image to the items that are in the image of the object of, given to us by the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So when we started the project, we realized that the, the endpoints of the PMA API wasn't quite returning the data in the way that we wanted. And in order to avoid you know, query limits and any type of performance issues with multiple calls to an API, we decided instead to write our own data structure and using scheduled tasks, pull in the information that we needed. And uh, then we wrote our own API to make calls to during gameplay and, uh, you know, pulling all the data that we needed. And uh, that was uh, created a better integration between the app and the data. And I also really wanted to build an API.